All right, what I've got is a good AGM battery, one of them sealed Optima $300 batteries, and then I have a totally discharged sealed Optima AGM battery. Now, the problem is when I put the one that is T-totally 100% discharged on the charger, it won't measure, so it won't take a charge. And I've been Googling and looking up some issues, and what I found was that these um, sealed AGM batteries don't have the protections against total discharge. In a normal deep cycle marine battery, it'll only go so far and stop, apparently. And so what I have to do is basically trick it, trick the charger into charging the, the uh, dead battery until it's got enough juice in it to start to take a charge. So what I'm going to do, here's my dead one, and I'm just going to hook up my battery charger. And then I'm going to set it. And as that's working, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take these jumper cables and I'm going to hook them up to the, uh, the dead battery, right? Negative to negative, positive to positive. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to check it. If these get hot, they start bulging or hissing or making any kind of noise, you got to stop it. So this ain't something to do and then walk off. So I'm going to sit here and watch it for the next 30 minutes or so and uh, see, how, see how it goes. If either battery or either cable gets hot, I'm going to shut it off. Okay, it's been a little while, and you can see that it's starting to uh, read. What it is, is it's doing the voltage on, on both batteries. So this is a slower way, I guess, to charge. Well, look, it shut off.